Let's go check out the alfalfa. Yeah, it's the 23rd of February. Actually, it's not February. July. That would suck if it's February. But actually, it'd be pretty cool if it didn't have snow in February. But... It greened up a little bit. It rained probably like two nights in a row. Sorry, I can't see with the sun in my eyes, but just watered my garden. Making sure I'm not stepping on any honeybees. Here's my garden update. Got some ripe cherry tomatoes, sun golds. Put a cage around them, just figured magpies might like them. Got some good tomatoes started. Whoops, sorry about the bounciness. The sun's in my eyes. Got a couple of nice ones. This is probably the biggest right here. This plant only has a couple. They're taking forever, but that's okay. Yeah, we really needed the rain. It's been a couple days, or a couple weeks since it rained, really. Substantial. Got some good, uh, get some rain. If you notice that the Smoke is kind of cleared out, but it'll come back if there's a lot of fires. A couple started today or yesterday with the lightning strikes, but yeah, round two. Beets are a little crowded in, but I don't care. <laughs> they're just going to do what they're going to do, so that's okay. My carrots have really started to get pretty tall the ones on the left are the colored ones the variety pack but man my cucumbers just have taken off been trying to keep them watered I saw a little tiny cucumber I'm sure they're out there but you know Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. They're kind of going going wild. I needed to put a bigger trellis up and just kind of got busy with work and life, I guess. But that'll work. Just let my peas go to seed. They're, they've got too hot this year, so... They got thrashed around with the wind, as you can see, but I still have a lot. These ones are probably up here, actually seeded up yet. Those are probably pretty good to just break open and hard as a rock. So I'll stock up on those, give them away to friends. If they want to plant peas, they don't have to buy any. But my my beans have just started to produce. I have to get in here and pick them before they get too long. But uh, yeah. 
probably have a about 15 minute harvest here. It's hard to do this with two hands, but perfect size to eat. And there's quite a few in here, so I just have to start getting into them. If they get too long, they're, they're not as sweet. So I'll have to make sure I pick them tonight. Um, spook down a spider. See how delicious they are. My raspberries just went wild. The little bugs. I don't think they'd hurt you. Watered them pretty good, but the, the birds have been attacking the bush as they ripen up. But yeah, in a couple weeks, maybe even just a week, they'll be popping off pretty good. I'm sure there's a whole bunch in there because I keep hearing robins fly in there. And they take off with them. This side's just getting a little bit drier. Definitely gonna have to thin these back. I mean, they're they're outside the box two feet. The box ends right here, and then it goes over here. So it's about maybe three feet out of the box. Uh, And I think I know what I did to my potatoes. Like where I planted the ones from last year, they were like really leggy and just kind of, I don't know what happened, but I think the ones that I planted last year were over here. And I'm guessing that the ones that I planted that I grew last year didn't really make it. And the ones that I got from the nursery or whatever, just regular potatoes, just are doing okay. But it's, I've had okay luck in the past with potatoes, but I use boxes, like these, these gray, gray boxes. I would just start planting them in the bottom and then I would just put more dirt in it as they would grow. And at the end of the year, I'd kick them over, but I got an okay harvest. I just, uh, I don't know, what I, I'm not the best potato farmer. I, I grow really good carrots, because I like carrots. Let me take a big carrot here. Let's see what we can find here. Let's try this guy. Well, no, let's... Let's try this one on its own. Look how green that is. That'll be tasty. Yep, they're starting to get bigger. Let's see if I can't find a, another one in a different variety. I'm not the best at thinning them out. <laughs> They're pretty thick in here, but you know what? This year we're we gonna have record. There's something popping out of the ground here. Yep. 
Let me try to get this one without ripping a whole bunch out. It's deeper than I thought. Yay! I think these ones are the Imperials or Imperators. Those are the ones you buy at the store that are like the baby carrots that are all perfectly cylindrical and they put them on a lathe or something and grind them down and I don't know what they do with the, the stuff that they grind down make it into a soup or something but yeah maybe I'll pick another one here oh, just pick that one out on accident there's another good guy now these are starting to perfect that'll be good yeah that's just the beginning I'm not gonna harvest this until probably October so that'll work yeah it cooled off I might go for a walk yeah, my knee kind of hurts for some reason I think it's because I've been driving that little Toyota um, for some reason I have clutch fluid or something clutch leg but that's life I guess uh, that's since last time you guys were here the flowers are starting to pop off Got the windows shut because it's so hot on the western side here. But there's a butterfly. Oh. It's in the sky and it's flying twice as high. You just got to take a look. It's in a book. LeVar Burton said that one time. Kind of crazy. I haven't watered this. So I just saw a bee. Am I getting it? I don't know if I'm in focus. Yep. It's a little honeybee. In a while, they'll be probably up. Oh, they'll be get that. There'll be bees around. That's why I keep this going. Cause it's just bees are uh, having troubles these these days. I just got bit by a bug. Uh, but yeah, I stepped on a bee's nest in at work. It was in the ground. And I started running, <laughs> flailing around. They weren't attacking me. They just wanted to wanted me to get off their nest. So, yeah, I'm growing a uh, narrow leaf cottonwood. So many volunteers, I always have to pull those roots. But, Fifty million years ago, this is a piece of a uh, tree. Now it's in my yard. I like to see like insects and like pockets of beetles from ancient time. Uh, it's kind of cool to check out. Well, there was bugs back then. Let me show you some evidence of uh, robin poop from my raspberries. One of them hit my window the other day. Little baby.
Well, it cooled off, that's for sure. And that bug got me good stinging for some reason. It was it was tiny. It was like a little aphid or something. And check out my cactus. It's starting to get a little bigger. I cut that one off. I, mean, I can't remember what, what year I cut it. But I think it was last... Might have been last... September, maybe? So that's like a year of growth. So that's like two, three inches of growth. And the coolest thing about this thing is it had uh, like five, like one, two, three, four, five. Now it has one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has seven. I'm gonna probably cut this one sometime here in the near future, but my friend that gave this to me I had a really bad uh, hailstorm and he, he just got his cactus shredded that he's had for 20 years or something. It just, he lives in the rain shadow and it never rains there, so it's always dry. But you take a chance having plants outside, that's for sure. Well, luckily I haven't had a crazy hailstorm yet this year. It could happen, but, you know, if it happens, it happens. I think last time it happened, I, my Jeep got totaled because they said it wasn't worth getting it fixed, but, yeah, I definitely have a salad tonight. Good tomatoes, I'll just eat them. Pluck. There's probably all the orange ones I could pretty much pluck right now. It's not the biggest, greatest plant this year. Really dry, but so surprised it survived in the snow. Uh, next year I'll wait until June 15th to put all my stuff out because that's the last day it'll frost in zone 4. But. My onions are going good. Maybe I should pluck an onion. Sure, why not? I'll put it in some salad here. Yep, that'll work. Be tasty. Here's my bindweed garden where I grow bindweed. Let's see if I can find some bindweed. Oh, there's some bindweed. Awesome. This is so tasty. <laughs> this is the nemesis of my yard. It's bindweed. Uh, not this guy. This is this is not bindweed. This kind of this guy. Just grows wild. I thought it was actually clematis, <laughs> but it's not clematis. But I had um, had cages around my uh, strawberries and didn't get in here. Uh, but eventually, this when I have some time, I'm gonna get some gravel and fill this in with gravel so it looks like this. So much easier to maintain. I mean, look at that. I don't have to weed. Or get the chemicals out. Just pull the grass when it comes out. Didn't get that one as well as I wanted to, but I put this from here to maybe here. I filled that in this year, but I ran out of gravel, so I have to go get some. But yeah. Where'd my, where'd my carrots go? Well, 
glad it's not February 23rd. That's me. That's uh That's one of the uh things that we grow in Montana, coal. We have a lot of coal mines. And every single one of those is filled with coal. They take it travel all the way to the coast and then they put it on a boat and then ship it all the way across the Pacific Ocean to China can you believe that I don't know if I'll ever go to China or Asia. I haven't been out of the North America, North America for since 1987. I went to Australia and Hawaii, New Zealand and Fiji, but I was young. Last Labor Day, there was a big, huge fire that started kind of over those big cottonwood trees over there. See that M? That means Montana. I don't know if you could see it, but up on that ridge there, you can kind of see more dirt to the top of the top and left of the M. It took off. And we watched planes fly from the very top and drop uh, retardant onto the fire, but it it chased that ridge and got up to the top and then went down the other side and just took off and took out, I don't know, 20 homes or something. Yeah, so... It was pretty incredible. There was people over there out in the frontage road just watching the flames just take out you know it was the bridgers aren't really uh, known for too many fires I guess but just like anywhere things are dry yeah this mountain range will have like a lot of raptors come out, come in and uh, travel, and they'll catch it like a draft or whatever it is, whatever they call it. And the eagles won't even have to like flap their wings; they can just fly. And then they they have people that count uh, the raptors that come in the spring. I usually have a one or two that land in the tree and just hang out for a while. Yeah, they got two sprinklers this year. One over there. And then one over there. So every once in a while you'll hear the uh, guy on the ATV in the morning or whenever he does it. He has to move them by hand. Yeah, this is, I've lived here for like 10 or 12 years, and this is the first time they've grown alfalfa. They've grown uh, hay, barley, um, wheat. Yeah, first time for alfalfa, and it, sometimes I, I think maybe I might be aller allergic to it, because when I get home, I kind of get a little stuffy. So, yeah. And then they'll, they'll cut it, and then they'll put it way over there. And that was last year's cut. So, 
that big crane right there they're building the hospital so I guess with more people moving in uh, they need more health uh, facilities so anyway guys I said anyway again but it's Friday enjoy your weekend and do something you like to do get out there life is short so talk to you guys later till next time